Okay, uh, everybody, so this is the summary of the design sprint on the language agnostic instructionals. It took us a bunch of time to actually identify the right files and the modules, final assemblies. We found that we have some parts missing. We had to make some additions to the CAD, like the belt pegs and uh, just a little refinement on the extruder, probably some other details that will be uh, things that now for the language agnostic instructionals are important because we're looking at the details. But with a list of files, we divided this up in, by, by five people. So the people that were allocated task, tasks were Josh and Jose on the axis fitting to frame. There's Roberto, Abe, and Israel. These are the different modules that we're working on right now. So we're first, the major workflow is we're extracting the, the isometric views. And we're finding also that the isometric view is only in the in the orthographic view like you see here we can't really get this in perspective view but that's fine that that's what we'll work with so we're extracting the the parts at present so for any item here so we number these like like one you know like one through whatever eight uh, so after we do each one we put a placeholder for the file the actual SVG files so people can look at it like to give you an example um, for somebody else to pick up on this work like for example the heat bed number five it has a link to the SVG files already so that are extracted isometrics so that we can work with them for the language agnostic instructional immediately and then the link to the FreeCAD file that was used to generate the SVG so we can rework or add any SVG files if we need to. But basically for each item, like the heat bed here, for each of the main modules or instructionals, we're listing the, we're linking directly to the source files so anyone else can work on it. Once we have the source files, we start working right in this document. So this document is the organizing document for the language agnostic instructionals. We'll paste We'll paste our extracted views, and then each instructional should be like like a couple of pages, few pages, um, one, two, three pages. So we're going to start here. Once this document gets too heavy, we're going to move away from this document and separate into a separate document for the language agnostic instructionals. Uh, but for right now, we're still pretty good to paste the SVGs here so that we can we can work on the the formula for the language agnostic instructional and once again review Roberto's video the LA, LAI instructional for what are all the elements that are in there uh, especially like the fab tool icons like this is a warning sign or a drill sign or any other sign that you have to just help facilitate the visual communication of everything and as we're speaking here so people are for example pasting in uh, final assembly. So, for example, the Z. I see. I believe the. That looks like the z-axis, though. Though actually, the correct z-axis. If this is the z-axis, it would not have that end stop at the bottom because it actually the z-axis has the. Um, it's got the. Yeah, a couple of minutes. Okay. So here it should actually be the probe. That's if this is the z-axis. But anyway, so we're pasting in the the different graphics. And then at the end, we're assembling them into a very coherent language agnostic instructional. Please look at the language agnostic instructionals um, video here so you get a good idea of what it is. So, so that's about it. So please continue working on it. Anyone who else has, who's not participated on a team uh, from our team, please join this. And this is our master organizing document, this LAI design sprint document of course if you go to my log naturally you'll see that posted for today uh, as in here uh, basically for today's entry the the 9th of august on march and log on the wiki you'll see the language agnostic instructionals design sprint so you can do the working document so anyway we'll use that to organize everything see what we can get by by friday and saturday and um, we'll have a good event this Saturday. And we're going to continue with uh, regular monthly, pretty much monthly. So right now we're actually planning with Emmanuel. We're planning on the next one being in September in Augusta, Maine. So 
that's kind of the schedule. And then we don't have one lined up for October yet, but we, we just want to keep doing this until we really perfect this and get to the larger machines and get to larger things like printing out rubber tracks and uh, other <laughs> interesting things like the polycarbonate glazing that I was thinking about and getting into useful products like cordless drills, aerial drones, robotic arms, and 3D printed electric motors. I mean, those are really all very important products that would go to your guaranteed basic income store that anyone can run with a <laughs> with a um, little micro factory in their backyard. So that's the vision. Okay, so anyway, thank you everyone for, for participating. Con please continue. And people who haven't contributed, please uh, go into the working doc, Language Agnostic Instructional Design Sprint, and from there just contribute by... Um, taken the pasted SVGs and, and well actually PNGs the, the images and arranging them into a final final language agnostic instructional so thanks a lot we'll uh, continue and otherwise uh, event is this weekend and then continuing Tuesday again a regular meeting at 1 p.m. CST thanks a lot and please ask me any questions if you've got any uh, let's communicate on the email thread bye bye